Welcome to PBC Northgate Meditation Hour. We are reading from the book of Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 and 7. For to us a child is given, and a son is a child is born, and a son is given. The government will be on his shoulders. He'll be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will lay on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forevermore. And the zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Isaiah is prophesying into the future about a king. So this king will be unique because he is a son but also a child. Listen to how he describes child born but inside the child that is born is the son who's given in john chapter 1 the bible says that the word in the beginning was the word the word was with god the word was god and it was the son of god and he says in 12 that uh, he gave men power to become the children of god everyone who believed on him so it's a very interesting prophecy of a child who is a king and later, of course, he says a king and a high priest in the order of Melchizedek. But listen to how he describes him, for you to know him properly. He says he's a mighty God, he's an everlasting father, he's a prince of peace, and he is a king of kings. An amazing child, a counselor even. And he says of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. So no matter what men do, the advance of God's kingdom will continue on and on and on. In Habakkuk 2.14, he says, one day in the future, the whole earth will be full of the glory of the Lord as the waters fill the earth. See, very interesting that this child who is to be born is to be born of virgin birth. And it's Isaiah again who prophesies that. And the people found it not possible. I mean, you expect uh, for there to be a man and a lady for a child to be born. But he said it's going to be a virgin birth. And in Galatians 4.4, it says in the fullness of time, what Isaiah prophesied became a reality. Because the mother of Jesus, Mary, it is the Holy Spirit who came upon her for her to conceive. Remember a wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace, of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. I pray in 2024 that the increase of his kingdom and peace in your heart shall have no end. May you go from glory to glory to glory and be everything God intended for you to be. Thank you for tuning in as you meditate on this passage of scripture. God bless you.